What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another jailbreak update video. There hasn't been a whole lot of news lately so I haven't really felt the urge of doing one but a lot of people have been asking me so I figured I would just uh, blast you guys with a jailbreak update. Now the current jailbreaks are the same as they were from the previous episode. We have Taurine which is available for iOS 14.0 up to 14.3. We have Uncover, which is the same, available iOS 14.0 up to 14.3. Uh, these two jailbreaks work on all devices on iOS 14. And if you guys are seeing any videos on YouTube saying Uncover for 14.5 or 14.6, 14.4, anything newer than 14.3, those are fake videos, unfortunately. And then also we still have Uncover, which works on iPhone 10 and older. So if your device has an A11 chip or older, you can jailbreak using CheckRain. And this does work on the newest versions of iOS as well. This works up to 14.7 beta currently. This iPhone is jailbroken on iOS 14.6. And that is the same for my iPad here. My iPad is the iPad 7th generation jailbroken on iOS 14.6 because it has the A10 chip in it. So CheckRain is pretty amazing, but it only supports older devices. CheckRain does not support the iPhone XS, XR, XS Max, an iPhone 11, or an iPhone 12. So if it has an A12 chip or newer, you cannot use CheckRain. And those are the current jailbreaks. And we are honestly at the point right now where people start getting super impatient. There's 8 million people asking, when is the jailbreak going to come out? Nobody knows ever in the history of jailbreaking when a jailbreak is going to release. The only people that know when a jailbreak is going to release are the creators of the jailbreak. And they do not tell people when they're going to release their jailbreak. They do it because it's a surprise. So nobody knows. So all I can say to people is to just sit back and be patient. I feel that we are probably pretty close to a jailbreak being released, but we don't know when it's going to come. I'm also going to mention if you guys are new to jailbreaking, just make sure you don't update your iPhone. Keep your iPhone on the lowest version of iOS possible. So many new people come in, you know, to these videos every day and they're on the newest version of iOS. You need to not update your iPhone or your iPad to get a jailbreak. So go into general, go to software update, and turn off automatic updates. And you need to do the same thing on your Apple Watch as well. If you have an Apple Watch, you need to stop updating that as well because the Apple Watch will actually force you into updating your iPhone at some point. Now to do this, it's really easy. It's the same thing. Go to your watch application, go to general, go to software update, and stop updating your Apple Watch. Turn off automatic updates. That's incredibly important uh, if you guys want a jailbreak. You need to stay on the lowest version of iOS possible. So stop updating your iPhone right now and sometime in the future, you might be able to jailbreak it. And uh, like I wanted to mention here, just stop updating your iPhone. Once you are jailbroken, it's very easy to stay jailbroken. You can actually update 
from jailbreak to jailbreak once you're jailbroken. So when a new jailbreak comes out for iOS 14, let's just say, for example, iOS 14.5, my iPhone XS Max is on iOS 14.3 and I will be able to update this iPhone to an unsigned version of iOS. And there's two ways I can do this. I can use the 90 day delay, which allows me to do that. And I've done a video on that. It was pretty cool. I'll leave it listed in the description. Or I will be able to use future restore as long as I have blobs saved. So make sure you guys, if you're jailbroken, save your blobs. You can use TSS saver, boom, save your blobs. And if you have blobs saved for this device, you can use a program called Future Restore to restore your iPhone or update your iPhone to a newer jailbreakable firmware. It's super cool. I did a Future Restore guide finally, my first one ever, and I will continue to do the Future Restore guides as new jailbreaks come out. So this is just the beginning of craziness. I'll leave my Future Restore guide uh, video in the description if you guys want to check it out and see what it's all about. But make sure you are saving your blobs. Even if you're not jailbroken, you can still save your blobs. If you're not jailbroken, video links for all that is in the description. Now, in terms of timing, when could a new jailbreak come out? Like I said, nobody knows. And we're going to hop onto the computer here real quick because I want to talk about uh, Google Project Zero and some of that stuff because when there's not much to talk about, there's a lot of speculation going on with the way that these bugs come out. So I don't want to spend too much time talking about this, but basically Google Project Zero is um, a group of security researchers that find bugs and then release them. So if we go to the security content of iOS 14.6, now remember this stuff affects anything older than iOS 14.6. So 14.5.1 and older, this stuff will affect. And if we scroll down here, you will see there's a kernel level bug um, by Google Project Zero right here. Now I'm only using Google Project Zero as example. There are anonymous researchers that we don't even know who it is. There's other companies, there's other individuals that find this stuff. It's a bug bounty program and they get paid big bucks to find this stuff. But people like to start speculating on when we're going to see these groups or these people release these bugs. And if we go to Google Project Zero's um, disclosure FAQ, this explains how it works, but it doesn't really help us out. So I don't think you really need to pay attention to how it works really, and I'll explain why. So um, this bug is subject to a 90-day disclosure deadline, meaning if this company does not fix this bug after 90 days, um, Google Project Zero is still going to release it. So the bug report will become public 30 days after the fix was made available. Otherwise, the bug report will become public at the end of the 90-day deadline, okay? We don't know when Google Project Zero told Apple. We don't know when they told them about this. All we know is that Apple did patch it on May 24th. So technically, uh, at May 24th, 30 days after that, Google Project Zero can, if they want to, release the write-up, which they probably will at some point, but it doesn't have to be exactly 30 days after. They just wait at least 30 days, and then after that, we could see the write-up for that bug. So don't pay attention to the disclosures too much. Don't pay attention to the dates too much. Just sit back and be patient. And just, if there's one thing you can take away from this is you can, like I do, pay attention to all of the security that is patched in versions. And the more that there is, the better the chances are that there's going to be a jailbreak. And with iOS 14.5 and 14.6, there is a ton of stuff. Mainly, we usually just care about the kernel level stuff in the jailbreak community. Mainly kernel stuff is what we want. So kernel one here by Pangu Lab and this security lab and you know another kernel one here. The kernel stuff is usually the juicy stuff for jailbreaking. And just note, there's a bunch for 14.5. There's a bunch for 14.6.
So chances are pretty high that we'll see a jailbreak for at least iOS 14.5.1 and older. Chances are high. And then once iOS 14.7 comes out, we can see what kind of security content is found there. And that could kind of give us, you know, a good heads up whether we're going to see a jailbreak for that version as well. So just use this as kind of, you know, an idea of what we could expect. Like I said, I think that with how much security content is patched, the chances for a jailbreak is high. Don't pay attention to 90 day delays too much or 30 days or whatever it might be. Don't pay attention to their disclosures. Just pay attention to what is patched. And if it's someone that normally releases them, um, it, chances are we could see it released. And then at that point, I would, of course, cover it in a video for you guys. But don't worry about timing too much. Just sit back and be patient and just know there's a strong chance that we're going to see another iOS 14 jailbreak. And we don't know when it would be, but chances are high. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.